What up, Starfield Player Rock here, back with some juicy intergalactic revelations. So, like you, I've been loving exploring the world, or should I say the universe, of Starfield. But imagine my shock when after a week of ranking up Bob, my constellation recruit, exploring solar systems, and generally being a good star citizen, Xbox released Starfield for Game Pass, and I realised I couldn't cross-save to my Xbox version. Now, if you're wondering why cross-saving is such a big deal, let me break it down like this. Imagine being able to play your game in the cloud via what we all now call xCloud or quickly resuming your game on your eco-friendly Xbox after a lengthy PC session bloating your carbon footprint and generating enough heat to warm the Taj Mahal. Seamless gaming anytime, anywhere. That's good for the planet. <laughs> Hey, it works for me. Actually, there was a bigger issue for me, no disrespect to Mother Earth. No matter where I played my Steam version, it would usually end in a system freeze at some point. Major unhappy face. But fret thee not, I have found a solution and I'm going to share it with you right now. So, some kind tech messiah has written some open source code on GitHub that lets you port saves from your Steam version to your Xbox for PC version. A separate, equally godlike being has created code that does the same in reverse. Wait, but what about my console? I hear you cry. Once saved to the PC Xbox version, it will automatically sync to your console when you fire it up. So just install the PC version on any old PC. It doesn't even matter if it runs like a two-legged racehorse. All you're going to do is fire it up so that your saves get synced from the Xbox. Then you can close it down again, right? Okay, once that's all done, let me show you just how ridiculously easy this is to juggle between your Steam and Xbox saves. Now, before we proceed, a quick heads up. When you try downloading the exe files, your browser will rightly burst a blood vessel. Just right-click the fail download in your downloads history menu and click the keep link. It'll be a little bit more helpful with its warnings this time, but it will still whinge. So make sure you click the little links that say you're not bothered and are fully okay with handing your entire PC data to a third party Eastern European dark web outfit. No, I'm joking. <laughs> However, always remember, Downloading files from the internet comes with risks. I personally didn't face any issues, but don't take my word for it. Who the heck am I? Do your own research and always be cautious, my friend. Okay, so getting down to business, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to click on your local disk. C for most people, come down to Program Files x86, then come down to a Steam folder followed swiftly by user data. Now within user data, it'll largely depend how many games you have. So you may have to dig around, but I ticked on the only one that I've got and you are looking for a folder specifically called 1716740. And once you find 1716740, go into remote and then into saves and you will find a ton of saves. Just re-filter that screen so that you're showing date in ascending order and at the very top of that uh, window should be the very latest save and of course you may want to save to an earlier one that's entirely up to you grab that file and drag it literally over the top of our new github installed exe file and drop it that's it job done no great celebratory message you wouldn't have a clue that it's happened except if you now go to your Xbox PC version and fire it up, go to settings, go to load, ta-da! There are all of your saves. Now, of course, if you uh, open the game, give it a second or two, and then close it down again, those saves will automatically synchronize with your Xbox console. And the whole... Lion King universe 
is one big circle of happiness. Now, we've got this far. I have an itsy, bitsy, teeny weeny little problem that I just need to mention. If you were playing Starfield a week before general release when it came out on Xbox Game Pass, you either got a pre-release review copy, sorry UK reviewers didn't happen for us, and or more likely you paid big bucks for the premium or deluxe versions, what happens to those extra goodies that you paid for? Well, they won't be available on Xbox because it's the poor people's version. But honestly, after a week of gameplay, you will have used and abused them anyway, and you won't want them anymore. They'll be completely useless. Just discard them. You don't care. Anyway, look, if you ever feel nostalgic for that old suit that you stopped wearing on day two or visiting old Mars, hint, it looks like most barren planets on Starfield, you can always reverse the process. Save your saves back to Steam using this code. Now, I've dropped the links to the code in the description below. Please do say thank you to the authors if you can hunt them down on reddit or wherever uh, you know they went out of their way we should do the same thing as for me if you found this video helpful please leave a comment down below let me know and don't forget to drop a like for more gaming tidbits hacks chats and particularly rank gameplay hit that subscribe button until next time starfield junkies rock out Thank <music> you.